Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna be making a toy car powered by a rubber band. So for this project, you're gonna need a plastic bottle, rubber bands, some straws, bottle caps, a Sharpie pen, wooden skewer sticks, a ruler, scissors, pliers, a hammer, a nail, a hot glue gun, and we have our level three tools. Now level three tools are tools that should be used by an adult. The first one that we have is a manual drill. You don't see these in stores very often because we got this from our grandpa. An X-Acto knife. This is what an X-Acto knife looks like. And the blade's very, very sharp. So please be very careful. The last thing you're gonna need are some safety goggles. Because when we cut the wooden skewers, it's gonna go flying everywhere. So the first part of the project is we're gonna cut a hole right on top. We just need to know where we're cutting and close to where we're cutting. Now this is gonna be the top of the car. Flip it around and you're gonna draw a square right here at the end. This is the part where level three tool comes in, which is the exacto knife. So you're just gonna keep going all around. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And it should come off like that. Now we have our hole. So the next step is you're gonna wanna measure out the width of your container with the ruler. Six centimeters, get my straw and mark it and cut where we mark here. We're gonna just cut two little ones, two little pieces off the straw, but I'll explain later what it's for. Oh, where'd it go? Cut it slowly so it won't fly away. There you go. The next part is a little bit trickier. We're gonna take the lid of the bottle. We're gonna make a hole in the middle of the cap. The first way you can do this is you can get your nail and your hammer and make a hole directly over it like this, very carefully, but very hard, or press it down and spin. Oh, do you see that plastic being spun off? I always preferred using this manual screw over the hammer and the nail just because I always hit my finger and it hurts. Woo, made it through. Let's clean it off a little bit so we have the hole. And we have a perfect hole. Now you're gonna wanna do the same thing on four other caps. These are the four caps I have that I have holes already. And these are gonna be my wheels. Next step is we're gonna take our wooden skewer, 11 centimeters right here. This is where we need our goggles because these skewers really like to go flying when you cut it. Tighten those goggles. There's a blade back here. Cut it. Woo! Do it a second time. There we go. Ah! These are gonna act as the axles for the car. Oh, it flew away. Three more of these little size pieces of wood. Ooh, that one didn't fly. Last time, eh. oh, where'd the other side go? It don't matter, we only needed this side. <laughs> Take our level three tool again, the X-Acto knife. We're gonna try to make every side look as sharp as this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna aim downwards and we're gonna scrape it off all around. And there we go, we have our two axles. You're gonna need your two rubber bands, which is one small one and one really long one. So we're gonna take the small one and you're gonna run it through the cap. Use the pen to block it from coming out. And then we're gonna make a knot at the, ow, I pinched myself. Pull it tight. Then we're gonna take the long rubber band and we're gonna loop it around to tighten it onto the short one. Pull it tight. This is gonna act as the engine of the toy car. The next part is we're gonna take the glue gun and we're gonna glue right at the top. Quickly get that straw, put that right onto it. Nice and straight, wrap it around like a little arc and we're good. Take one of your wheels and then take one of your sticks and put it through the hole in the center and push it through until you can't push it anymore. <laughs> glue it so that it will stay in place. We're gonna glue the tip as well. Just kind of stick it right through that straw. Slowly, not too fast because the wheel is not dried yet. Now we're gonna take the other wheel and press it onto the other side. Just like that. Donuts all around. They match perfectly and they're balanced. We got some good set of wheels. Now you're gonna take this stick that's gonna act as a rear axle and remember how it was 11 centimeters? What we need to do is find the center and mark it. Now the center would be about five and a half, right here. And take the longer stick of your little three that you made earlier. We're gonna glue this one right here. Grab the little straws that you had earlier. We're gonna put them on both sides of this. We're gonna be gluing it onto both sides. 
We're gonna fill up the space under and then we're good. Put the wheels on, so all the way in. Donuts all around. The wheel is pressed right in. Donuts again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this rubber band right through the top, grab it from the bottom. See that opening that we made earlier? Close that lid. Screw it back on tight. Take that long rubber band. We're gonna hook it to that middle stick and then we're gonna use the wheel and spin it. Test this out just by letting go and seeing the wheel spin. Ready? I'm gonna let it go. That's how you know it's gonna work. So we found an open space and we're gonna test it out right here. Come on, buddy, you got this. Go! It didn't go that far. Darn it. I wonder why it didn't go that far. Maybe I need bigger wheels in the back because this part's heavier than the back. Now the main reason why these little wheels didn't work is because they're not big enough. So I went along and prepped these Two big ones. See, they already have the holes inside. Now all there's left to do is put it on the rear axle. And here we have it. We have the bigger wheels on the car. Oh, look how awesome that looks. So we have all this open space, so we're gonna test out our car one more time with the big wheels now. Ooh, ready, set, and go! Ah! We did it! It works. Yeah! <laughs> Since this worked out really well, I'm gonna build one more and we're gonna have a competition to see which one's better. So now we have both the competitors. We have the green car that we just made and now we have a transparent car with the red cap. How it's gonna work is we're gonna have five different challenges and whoever wins the most of the challenges is gonna win the whole entire competition. The first challenge is very simple. All they're gonna do is go in a straight line on a flat surface. First up, we're gonna have our green car. All right, Greenie, you ready? You're up. Ready? Set. Go! I'm gonna go straight to the second car. Let's name you Greg. Same starting point as Greeny. Go! Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Look, guys, Greg won the first round. Congratulations, Greg! So the next round, we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it over some water. Go! Whoa, 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 whoa. Good job, Greg. You're up, Greeny. Ready? Set, go! That's okay. We still got three more competitions. This third challenge isn't about who can go the furthest, but who can go over these obstacles. Right now, I have in my hand a bunch of branches and twigs. I'm just gonna lay it all over. Now you see how the branches are lined up from shortest and thinnest all the way to the thickest and the longest. The further they go, the harder it gets. Go! One, two, three! <laughs> he hit the door branch! Let's go, Greeny, you got this! Go! Whoa, look at that! He actually touched the fourth one! Round three goes to Greeny! Round four is gonna be quite simple. All they're gonna have to do, same thing, is they're just gonna have to see who goes the furthest. But the only difference is now it isn't a flat surface. It's actually a rocky surface. There's rocks everywhere! Three, two, one, go! Whoa, that was actually really cool. Okay, so for style points, I think Greeny deserves extra points for that. So you know what? I'm gonna give him a little boost this much. Woo, good job, Greeny. Greeny made some great distance, and he also did some crazy style. You got a lot to live up to, Greg. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, this is a very close call. I don't know who's gonna win. Oh, do my eyes deceive me. Greeny won this round. Wow, by one centimeter. Only one tire away from winning. If I look at the scoreboard, it is telling me we have a tie. That means round five is the tiebreaker. Whoever wins round five wins the whole competition. For round five, we're gonna be doing it on the slide. Go, 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 go. Whoa. I wonder who won. Here we go. Oh, looks like Greeny won. Good job, Greeny. You won by a whole hand size. He won without any help whatsoever. So sorry, Greg. You tried your best, but 
It just wasn't that great. That was a great competition between Greeny and Greg, and I hope you guys try this project out at home as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye!